I remember this one, these being hard to do for some reason. Yeah. There couldn't uh, be. Oh, it is only one, one partial anus. I die. I think I shot you. I apologize. <gasps> I shot you again. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. How could you murder your best friend, Wookman? You are the <laughs> Ham Solo. Ham Solo and Chew Broccoli. Actually, is he Ham Solo? Did you ever see Star Wars? No. I was just about to say, though, now that I think about it, you could probably make a, a whole food based one with. Yeah. It was Ham Solo. No, Yam Solo, Chew Broccoli, Obi Wan Cannoli. Darth um, Tater? Darth Tater. Darth Tater, I mean. Um. Princess Lettuce, Princess Puke Skywalker, <laughs> um, Egg Troopers. That sounds like a a mystical story. Yeah. <laughs> Is it like a cartoon? No, it was animation? just like um like a live action puppet looking thing. Except uh -huh. they used um you know f fruits and vegetables with costumes on and stuff. Yeah. So, it was pretty funny. I saw an ad on YouTube for this new series. Uh -huh. It's like a a sitcom, but the deal with it is that pu pu puppet peel pu puppet peel are puppet people are real. Okay. And so like there's a whole thing where like a girl b bones a puppet person and they're going to have a a half human half puppet baby. Sounds like a good time. <laughs> yeah. I'm like what the heck? Indeed. I mean, it's probably not far from something that I would make if I had to make TV shows. Indeed. Something just really weird. That makes no sense. Yeah. Like that other one, I forget what it's called, but he like dates a goblin and his uh, mom gets angry because she, the goblin's not Jewish. And then he goes to a party and meets Hitler. Is this Spider-Man 2 or something? <laughs> the Spider-Man dates the goblin? Yeah. The, the not Jewish girl one. Exactly. <laughs> and then his mom ex exploded because uh, his goblin girlfriend wasn't Jewish. Mm -hmm. That's canon, you know. And I can't escape. <laughs> Don't worry. Oh, my. I was gonna put you out. <laughs> oh my! Oh! 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 Surprise butt sex! Oh! <laughs> Oh, I bet there's a hentai. There's a C-3PO hentai. Oh, I bet. That's one. That's like a hundred percent. Yeah. Did you die? Yes. Oh, okay. I was gonna say why are there studs here. <laughs> so uh, can we leave now or what? No. You have to be a a falcon to drive the Millennium Falcon. Oh. You have to be Falcon Girl. I got the Bane. A figure for Lego Dimensions. Oh yeah. Yeah, and guess who he's voiced by? Um. He is a man who loves to shove items into his orifices. Um. <laughs> uh, I don't know who. Tank Dempsey. Oh uh, okay. <laughs> I thought that was pretty cool. Uh -huh. When I. You put Bane on, and it was uh, his voice, whatever yeah. his, his name is. Steve Bloom. Yeah, Steve Bloom. Since he's in everything, it makes sense that he'd be in that. Yeah, indeed. I like Ray. I like Steve Bloom. Mm -hmm. He voices excellent characters, indeed. such as Tank and MC and Bane. <laughs> <laughs> and also Marcus Phoenix, who I don't actually care about, though. I don't think he voices Marcus Phoenix. I think he vo doesn't he voice someone in Gears of he War? He does voice somebody, but it's not Marcus Phoenix. Okay. Well, he's the only character whose name I know from Gears of War. Yeah. So. <laughs> he also voices, like, Wolverine. Yeah. Um, Zeb in Rebels. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and plenty of others that we can't think of offhand. Of yes. Well. I mean, he is in pretty much anything and everything. Indeed. If, it's, if there's a voice actor, he voices somebody in it. Indeed. So. He might even be a Naruto. Probably. Naruto. He voiced... Yeah, he's he's been in anime, because he voiced, um... Spike Spiegel. And he voiced a man. Yeah. Well, it's not really an anime. Yeah, I just remember that just now, though. Yeah. Oh! 
That's interesting. I, I never really thought of Spike Spiegel as having such a manly voice as Steve Bloom's. Mm -hmm. I, I always thought it'd be not necessarily like uh, fruity or anything, but... Like Ron? <laughs> yeah. Since he voiced Ron as well. Oh, that's true, actually. <laughs> <laughs> now that I think about it. <laughs> well, oh, they're dead. Steve Bloom is a man of many faces. Indeed. I wonder what he actually looks like. <laughs> he looks pretty normal, actually. Like, he's got yeah. blondish hair, short hair, he's got glasses, he's got some some scruffy facial hair. At least last <laughs> when I saw him, he had, like, scruffy-looking facial hair. Yeah. Yeah, he looks pretty normal. You know who else is in a lot of stuff is Tomaki, his voice actor, you yeah. know? Mm -hmm. And I saw his voice actor, and he doesn't look anything like the characters he plays. You know, they're usually, like, scrawny and small. Yeah. But this guy looks like he he's, like, I don't know, a, someone of, like, not necessarily buff, but he's on the bigger side, you mm -hmm. know? But he, he definitely looks younger, which I would expect from Tomoki. Yeah. That voice. Mm hmm El, La Vos, El Vos. Oh! I don't remember if that's male or female. I'm a bomber, you're not. Ah. Lol, I get to do the big bad times. Who's gonna say, well, what you did, you shot some stuff and died. There's a number red seven. But I am the one who shot the ventilation cap. I wonder if Red Red Team and Red Squad and Red Seven will all be in the next Star Wars movie. Can confirm Rogue Squadron is coming back. What about Red Seven? What about Red Five standing by? <laughs> Which one is Red 7? Is uh, that even one? I don't know why, that just comes to mind as a thing, Red 7. All I know is Luke is Red 5, and <laughs> that's all I remember. All I remember is Red 7 and Salacious 5. Yeah, that too. <laughs> the, the Salacious 5. Salacious B. Crumb is the best character in all of Star Wars. <laughs> True. He should start a, a boy band called the Salacious Five. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Bring... Bring back the... Do you see there? there's another uh, Fifty Shades of Grey movie? Yeah, I heard it was even worse than the first one, which I didn't know was possible, but... Was it, was it like, the first one considered bad? Yeah. Like, objectively? Yeah. Did people like it, though? I don't know. Because, like... That Fifty Shades of Grey, the book is bad too, right? Oh yeah, I'm sure. And it's just, and people just love it for it's the It's just smart. fan fiction is all. And yeah. Like, and most people don't know what fan fiction housewives is. <laughs> are like, oh, this is so, this turns me on so much. It's rape fantasy. I love it. It's the rape patriarchy. <laughs> and uh, most people don't know what fan fiction is, so they have to stick with this crap. Mm -hmm. And overpriced they don't know quality stuff. fan fiction like the stuff we read on we were playing um, Metroid Prime indeed <laughs> so do, do you think people actually enjoyed the Fifty Shades of Grey movie who enjoyed the books I don't know maybe how am I supposed to know what kind of demented <laughs> fantasies these women have I'm actually largely cu curious on how pornographic the film is if at all because it's, like, so popular and so big, you know, like, it's a household name now. I, I really don't care because I don't think the girl that's in is all that attractive, so I don't want to see it. Yeah, but you know? if it is... Either way, I'm going to be weirded out by it. Yeah. Because if it's porn, it's like, wow, I can't believe porn is this popular, like, breaking records and stuff. Mm -hmm. And if it's not porn, then it's like, well, what's the point of the movie then? Because yeah. literally Fifty Shades of Grey is only porn. Yeah. So, true. so yeah. You know, I shouldn't I shouldn't criticize middle aged women for their uh, sexual kinks, considering what we've been talking about. This whole <laughs> yeah, marriage. yeah. I don't. Yeah, that's why I didn't say anything, mm -hmm. because like I said, I I'd bone a robot. So, <laughs> I mean, I mean, it, it's a pet. I might. I don't know. It uh, I don't have your. If it was a choice between a real girl and a robot, I'd definitely choose a real girl. Like, 100%. Yeah. For me, that's not even particularly true. Yeah. It, but it also depends on the, the you know, what's going on with this robo-girl. Because mm -hmm. if she looked like the Rick and Morty one, then that'd be an easy choice. I'd pick the, 
the human. Yeah. <laughs> but, like I said, if it was like a, I don't know, the choice of robots. I'm trying to think of one that had a more visual uh, representation, but... Yeah, I would be f- I'd be down with that. Mm-hmm. Cause honestly, if it has boobs and they feel like boobs, and if it has, if it can act like a human, if it passes the Turing test, which means it can fool someone into if you were like having a conversation with it and you couldn't tell if it was a human or a robot. Mm-hmm. So if it can do that, and if it has realistic boobs, and that's all that matters, and not, it doesn't have a dong, mm-hmm. because my. I, I don't know. I'd say <laughs> it's weird. My I'd say my standards are picky and yet not. Yeah. Because with like. I don't know. I think I'm just into science fiction and crap like and well fiction in general. Yeah. <laughs> because like with girls, I'm I'm into like dark haired. I I like skinny, short, boobs. You like the big boobs. I don't like. I'm into Asians, but not specifically. I'm uh-huh. into Americans and Europeans too. As long as they fulfill the other requirements that I previously listed. <laughs> uh-huh. In terms of generally, I mean. But. I, so it. So people could be, like, you know, less picky than I am, saying, like, oh. I, and if I'm going further to say, like, an actual girlfriend in real life, mm-hmm. they'd have to share. I wouldn't. At least in my current life right now, it's probably because I don't really care enough to get one again at this point. Mm hmm. I don't really want to do the whole compromising thing. <laughs> so I'm, like, extremely picky, where some people will be like, oh, you can work it out, or, oh, I don't care if they're black, white, tall, short, fat, or skinny. Mm-hmm. I'm like, nah, bruh, I have I have preferences. Yeah. However, I, mean, I would date a blue alien. I would date <laughs> a robot. Uh-huh. I would date someone who is in a, a suit, and you don't even know what the heck they look like. <laughs> so it's like, I guess I am more inclusive more inclusive than most, but just in a fictional way. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm fictionally inclusive. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't know. I, I would, I'm not too picky about the grills, any grills that I would date, because, I mean, well, I guess I am super picky because I haven't dated anyone yet. <laughs> yeah. And so, like, I mean, because it's just, I need to find a girl who why I'm... Why is my ship aiming at you? I, it, Look it. No, it's aiming at the TIE fighter, but I, why are we moving so slow, first of all? Are you holding back or something? Oh, I didn't know this was a speed mission. <laughs> I was impressed. <laughs> yeah, <that's it. laughs> but yeah, uh, I need to find a girl who I would rather spend time with instead of playing video games, honestly. And that's, <laughs> I just haven't found one yet. <laughs> yeah. So... Well, that's the thing. It's like... That, that's what, probably the hardest thing about it, is that... I'm not unhappy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and I think so yeah, many yeah. people are. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> and it's and they, like, they, they seek validation in having a, a partner, you know? Yeah, and like, why would I get a partner and risk my happiness if I'm already happy? Yeah, indeed. And it's like, and and I can't think of anything that, I mean, I mean, I, 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 I talk about risking, boobs a lot, and I think they're nice, but I don't think, it's, <laughs> I don't think I'd take a, a, girl, a girlfriend boobs over a video game because boobs on a girlfriend means that you have to... You can't have those all the they time. Have, they have maintenance, too. Yeah. To attached to Whereas them. video games, you can just do... <laughs> you can just play video games whenever you want. Yeah. So that's why I'm like, a girl either has to be highly tolerant of video games or be into them as well. Yeah, indeed. Because I don't think I could completely give them up like lots of no, dudes do when they start I would, dating. I would never, never be able to give up games. Granted, I think that's changing because video games are being more mainstream now lately. Mm-hmm. But... That is what you see a lot, I feel like. Yeah. It's not because... I also think a lot of people give up games when they get older, too. Yeah, well, that's part of it. Um, Because it's like... You hear them, and they're like... And they see video games, like, oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. And I've talked... All the adults I've talked to... I've... Most... I'd say most dudes, adult dudes, are... Think video games are cool. Yeah, they just don't play. They have a wife, they have a girlfriend, they have kids, Mm -hmm. and you just, like, don't have time to be Mass Effect and and, and, with a week or whatever. That's part of why I'm, like... You know, when you're thinking... When I'm thinking, like, "Hmm, do I I ever want kids? And then as a... As the more I I think about it, I'm, like, the less and less I want kids because it'll mean (laughs) so much less time for video games, less time for anything... (laughs) 
<laughs> and it'd be so much energy required and so much money they cost, you know? Yeah. So when it's just kind of like, eh, I could have a kid if I ever find a wife, first of all. <laughs> or I could buy a brand new flat screen TV. <laughs> you could buy a Neopet. Yeah, I mean, basically, <laughs> we'll get a puppy. How about that? I'd rather have a. I'd rather have a dog than a kid, anyway. By the time we're in our thirties, they'll probably have some like holographic child you can get or something. I wouldn't even want that. I'd rather or a just wife. have a dog, honestly. <laughs> yeah, a well, robo dog. They do already have those holographic girlfriends you were talking about earlier. So. Yeah, they have those on Super Mega. Yeah!